inhibit can bind onto that enzyme regardless of whether or not the inhibitor is actually bound and it binds with the same exact affinity and that means the KM value will not change and if KM doesn't change then 1 divided by KM certainly will not change and so that's exactly why the X intercept is the same in this particular case. Now, why does the slope actually increase? Well, the slope is Km divided by Vmax. If the Km value doesn't change, but the Vmax decreases, this ratio will increase. And if the ratio, the slope increases, that means we're going to have a steeper curve as we see in this particular case. So again, if we compare the no inhibitor and the inhibitor, we compare the two curves and we see this result, then that means we have a non-competitive inhibitor present inside our mixture. And so this is another very useful and very important application of how we can use the double reciprocal plot, also known as the line weaver curve, to basically differentiate between the three types of reversible inhibitors.